VenturePoint is bringing AI-powered precision to heart imaging, giving cardiologists MRI-level accuracy at a fraction of the cost. Now, their technology works with any ultrasound system and is already approved with, uh, in the US, Europe, and Canada. I'm joined by Hugh McNaught, who is CEO of VenturePoint, and Joe Hotsetter, a congenital heart defect program director at the company. Now, to both of you, welcome uh, to our program. I'll start with Hugh uh, to get us started. Um, let's, let's talk about your recent uh, initiation of this congenital, congenital heart defect program, Hugh. Um, why have you made it such a priority at this point? The company was really founded to address the challenges of imaging young congenital heart defect patients. We were looking for an alternative to MRI. Since the founding of the company, we've made substantial progress in terms of improving the technology and the product form. We've been very successful in engaging with a number of early adopters and key opinion leaders, and we're now at the point of wanting to steer the company into its growth phase. Congenital heart defects remain a cornerstone of the company, and we're putting more importance on that. Uh, we're looking to see more widespread adoption into that indication. And for that reason, I've defined a program and brought Joe in to provide leadership. Uh, Joe has substantial experience in the industry, both in terms of, of uh, diagnostic imaging, echocardiography, and AI. Mm -hmm. Well, as good as time now to bring you in, Joe. Um, talk to us first about you know, how many people suffer from uh, this defect and what your plans are for VenturePoint's program. Uh, of course, knowing that you're just about a month in here at uh, the company. <laughs> yes, that's very much the case. Uh, th thank you so much for that. Um, as you mentioned, there are a large number of people. Currently in Canada, there's about 300,000 that are living with congenital heart defects. In the United States, it's um, almost two and a half million. And this is because of the success of early intervention. That success, though, also means now we have the challenge of following these patients in adulthood. And as Hugh mentioned in the past, that's been primarily done with, well, I'm present, that's primarily done by, by um, cardiac MRI. And we wanna see a way of changing that and moving that into areas where they can be produced a lot easier, such as echocardiography, by expanding the, um, the vascular and functionality capabilities of it. Mm -hmm. And so with that in mind, that's where your tech VMS plus comes in. Tell us how first in very simple terms, how this tech works and why it's valuable in the space and the marketplace today. So the reason it's valuable is a basic 2D echo that somebody would have is not very good at modeling um, certain areas of the heart. And especially when we're talking congenital heart defects, the importance of the right ventricle, the math that they're using makes certain assumptions that don't really apply. So VMS Plus has a huge AI-driven knowledge base, thousands of images, and we're able to use this knowledge base to more accurately and access those um, values and create 3D models. And the fascinating thing that's been proven is that we're within 10% of cardiac MRI. Well, looking ahead now, what is the vision for VMS Plus? I mean, I'm sure that uh, the foundation here, the Congenital Heart Defect Program Foundation, could be a step for a larger growth strategy. What would you say? And I can jump in on that in terms of what our vision is uh, moving forward, because as Hugh mentioned, that scalability is what is key. And we're in a very unique position. Um, there is associated uh, clinics that are accredited for following these adults in the congenital heart. And we're going to be actively targeting those clinics, both in Canada and in the United States. And at those clinics, whether they have the ability to do these MRIs can be very much a challenge, but they would have the ability to add to what we are basically agnostic on echocardiography equipment, our VMS Plus technology and software. 
it's essentially a screen that you're adding to the current echo that they're doing now. And the new methods actually place a lot of these things that had to be more manual in the past automatically for the, for the operators. So adding 10 to 15 minutes to an examination, rather than now having to transport a patient three hours to a cardiac MRI site that has the proper equipment. So that's where we see it happening. And then what's really exciting is that when you take these large accredited centers, they have satellites. Now we're talking 300, 400 of these that we can also bring this technology down to because we're not talking the price of half million dollar MRI scanners. Yeah, I mean, that's one thing I wanted to hit home before we go is, you know, how much of a, of a fraction of a cost is this versus what is currently out there today? Hugh, Joe, you can take it on. Yeah, it's substantially uh, less expensive. So in terms of capital costs, um, ECHO plus, plus VMS is, is maybe a tenth of the cost of MRI. Uh, in terms of procedures, uh, again, you know, 10 to 20% of the cost of, of uh, equivalent procedures. So uh, fairly enormous savings. I think as well, looking at workflow, uh, you know, from the clinical perspective and also just patient time and inconvenience, you know, being able to get a scan at the same time or on the same appointment as visiting your cardiologist is obviously so much more efficient than having to book a, a follow-up exam, you know, in a radiology department somewhere and, and possibly having to wait weeks or months for that to happen and then go back to your cardiologist. So we, we see much greater efficiency here, much lower cost and far greater accessibility. Okay. Well, both of you, thank you. Thank you for mm -hmm. being here. I think, Joe, you had something to add to that before we go? I would add one other thing. We also have some contraindications. You know, a lot of this patient population, if you're talking infants and children, MRI in general is almost contraindicated for it because of how still they have to remain, how much it is emotionally draining for such young patients. And then you do have some patients that have devices and other things that would contraindicate it. So that does bring things open as well once we start getting into those populations. Mm. Well, hopefully we'll have you guys uh, back for an update mm. as Joe gets more settled into his role and you're growing this program here at Venture Point. Thank you both for being here. Very good. Thank Thanks. you so much for having us. We look forward to that. Mm.